Hi. As we know, the PoE power over Ethernet is limited to 100 meters, it's about 300 feet. In this video, I'm going to introduce three methods to extend the PoE beyond 100 meters. Before I move ahead, I'd like to say all these solutions only work with the standard PoE. It doesn't work with the passive PoE like the DC 24 voltage PoE. Also, it's just repeated network signal for the camera, TC access point, PC computer. It's not extending the cable. I'd like to say it actually it's extending the signal running on the cable. So if your system doesn't work the net doesn't need the network signal, it will not work. Alright, now let's take a look at the first solution. This is the regular PoE switch. You can see there's switch button. If we turn the switch to left, the switch will enter the CCTV mode. Some some switch also called VLAN. Technically, this solution just compromises the bandwidth to have a long dis distance. After we switch to the CCTV mode, this switch can transmit up to 250 meter PoE. But there's always price for have the longer distance for this solution. It needs downgrade the bandwidth to 10 megabyte per second. Not only single port, it will downgrade all this PoE port to 10 megabyte per second. Ten, what, what is the concept of 10 megabyte per second? It may still enough to carry like two megabits of camera, but if you plan to use or upgrade your system to like the 4K IP camera, the bandwidth may not enough because they are always has the data peak when they transmit the data over the network. So it usually needs some buffer to carry the higher resolution like the 4K IP camera. Okay, the second solution is the PoE extender. This is the one in, two out PoE standard. One in standard can repeat another 100 meter. And there's no need to sacrifice the bandwidth to trade off to get the longer distance. So if you need 300 meter, you can daisy chain two of these PoE standard to achieve longer distance. And the third method we are going to introduce is the long range PoE switch. This is the one, the long range PoE switch. You can see there's no difference from the regular PoE switch. But two of the long range port, the port one and port two, can achieve 500 meter PoE. 500 is quite long. Now let's just make a demonstration. First, I need to get the cable. This is the 300 meter Ethernet cable. I cannot find the 500 meter Ethernet cable in the market. So in, in this case, I need to use this copper to put another 200 meter Ethernet cable. This is the second road. First, I'm going to conjoin these two cables by using this coupler. So it's nothing but just the coupler. Now I got 500 meter Ethernet cable. It's the KFIE. Okay, first I'm going to plug the cable to the port number one. Can I just connect the, the end of the cable to the camera? No, it is not working. Even it can power the camera, but the data could be the problem. The reason is because this long range PoE switch can send the data up to 500 meters. But for the camera to return the signal to send back to the switch, it needs some long range solution. That's the reason why I need to change this PoE standard. This standard will help the camera to return the data to the camera. Okay, first we plug the, to the input. Now we need a punch code to link the output to the camera. That would be it. Let's just wait for a while and we're supposed to see the live video on the monitor quite soon. Now I can hear the camera is moving, which means it's getting the power, also the data. This is motorized zoom camera. It needs a wire for the camera to get the best focus. 
You see, the beautiful thing is we can leave the POE switch. Also, the POE is stand at both sides, and we got a 500 meter continuous run. You can bury this cable without any problem. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post in the comment section below. See you next time.